Yo, internet, what's happening? What are we doing today? Definitely not S550 things. What I wanted to talk to you about is another service I want to offer in Coyote swapping your early S197. And what that is, is if you're using the five speed TR3650 in your swap, you need a 2013 to 2014 GT500 transmission harness and you need to modify it. Now, until recently, I got a car that had that. I was able to uh, figure out the exact modifications. I did do it to my own 07 a couple of years ago, but I haven't had access to it. Um, or I got it back recently, but I haven't been able to get a chance to get on lift, but I was able to do it on a customer's bullet that uh, he swapped and I did the wiring on, which you may have uh, checked out already. And give me, gave me the idea to uh, offer this transmission harness modified by yours truly so that you can have your five speed um, that you've kept with your Coyote swap and use our swap harness to be completely plug and play, especially for your 07 to 09 cars. Uh, the 05 to 06 cars, you're still gonna have to do a couple few splices. There's two at the most. If you have an 05, one if you have an 06. That's for another time, which I've explained before, but let's get into what we have to, to modify what you get when um, you purchase a modified GT500 transmission harness for your swap. So we got it sitting here and uh, basically what I do is move the one pin that is required for your speedometer to work and extend the speedometer pigtail and the reverse uh, light switch. Very simple, but you know, this might be daunting for uh, most enthusiasts. So uh, I just wanna, wanted to throw that out there for something that Make It Modular can offer to make your swap just that much easier. If you haven't checked out our plug and play Coyote swap harness for your 2005 to 2010 Mustang, jump on our website, give me a message, email me whatever, I'll answer whatever questions you want. I've covered just about everything. Um, I've had a lot of customers recently for some reason have a lot of no crank issues and had to deal with the security being overwritten by um, the tune if you're using an SCT. Um, another leap, another discovery. I'm always excited to find these solutions out for you guys and I've had a 100% success rate with all the harnesses so far. So um, just got this coyote back in, uh, in the background here, you know, kind of flexing. We're do we just did a third gen long block swap, but this thing's actually seized. Uh, first, I was seeing that. Uh, I'd like to crack into it, but I just don't have the time. The customer knows it's seized, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we're getting off track. So yeah, it's gonna be a very short video. I just wanted to uh, throw that out for you guys. If you're gonna do the swap yourself, do the labor. Um, it's harder to modify or put these transmission harnesses in after you have the drivetrain, which I learned on the car that I learned all the lengths I need to make it to and whatnot. Um, it's easiest when you have the transmission harness all laid out on the transmission, like have it on the crate already, have your whole drivetrain on there, and then you can drop the car on it. Or if you're doing it the old school way through the top or you're on jack stands, it's just easier to put that transmission harness on when it's not in the car already. Uh, it's just a, a little bit of a bear to get the positive and negative battery cables through, especially if you have headers, it, it gets pretty tight in there. So this will just make it that much easier for you. And uh, just a big thing that I'm passionate about is swapping these cars because they're my favorite body style and it's my favorite engine. So if you've been in this swap, you're in the middle of it and you need this transmission service done or transmission harness service done, that's what I'm going to start offering. It'll be on the website before uh, this video is up. So go to www.make-it-modular.com, check it out, check out our swap harness and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll wrap this up and we'll see you out there. You keep swapping them, we'll keep crimping them. So we'll see you next time and consider subscribing.